In Revit, there are two main different kinds of lines you can draw. You can draw model lines or detail lines. Model lines are exist in three-dimensional space, they exist somewhere in the model. So no matter what view you take of it or how you cut it up, you'll see that line somewhere. Detail lines are two-dimensional though. They only show up in the view that you drew them in. It's almost as though you took a piece of transparency or a sketch paper and put it over the view and just traced it out in that view. So to illustrate this, um, I'll go to an elevation view of this wall and you'll, you'll notice I have a, a grid line at the face of the wall. So when I, uh, and the grid line is number one. So when I click on the elevation to, to bring up the wall face, I'll first start out uh, drawing a detail line. So I'll go to the annotate tab and choose uh, detail line. And I'll choose, choose my line style. And I'll just draw out a D for detail line. Um, now I'll draw a model line. So I'll go to the home tab, choose model line. And you'll see that Ref, uh, Revit, Revit is asking me um, to define in space somewhere the, the where this I'm drawing this line out at. So I, I need to uh, pick a plane uh, to define, to tell Revit where in space this, this line is being drawn. Uh, grid lines work as planes, so do reference planes. Since I have a grid line laid out at the face of the wall, I can choose grid one, click OK. Now it'll um, draw the model line out in the, the plane at the face of the wall. Uh, so for the model line, I'll just draw an M. I'll change the line style out to be uh, detail line also. So now we have a detail line uh, drawn out as a D and the model lines drawn out as an M. And we can test to see uh, how this shows up by going to the 3D view. Um, so I'll click the view, go to default 3D. And you can see only the M shows up because those, those are the model lines and uh, those actually exist somewhere in 3D space. So I'll go ahead and go back to the um, south elevation. And a line style, um, we can open up the settings and see um, what makes uh, a line style, what's defining it. Uh, to do that, go to the Manage tab, choose Settings, and go to Line Styles. And I drew the detail line out in Detail Line 1. And you can see that a line style is defined as <clears throat> a line weight a color, and a pattern. So to change this or to create a new line style, I, I, can, I can modify the existing one by changing the line weight here with, with the pull down menu. Um, I can change the color and uh, I can change the, the line pattern by swapping it out for an existing line pattern. If I, if I want to create a completely new line style, then uh, you can click new, give it a name. In this case, it's, if it's very specific, um, you might want to create a very specific name for it uh, so that you don't confuse it with other lines, line types. Call it uh, casework overhead. And it gives me a new line where I can start defining its weight, color, and pattern. And if I don't like any of the patterns that are already built for me, um, I have to create a new pattern to swap it out for that one. So to do that, um, I'll go ahead and hit OK to uh, keep this new line style I called Casework Overhead. Then I'll go back to Settings tab. This time go to Line Patterns. And here um, you can see the line patterns that have already been built in this project, um, but I can create a new one. And the way it works is I want to first give it a name. So I'll call it a uh, small dashed line. And in uh, row one, you're given the choice of either uh, creating a dash or a dot. And then uh, you can define a length for that. So I'll start out with dash and then give it a length. And then I'll give it 
in between uh, either dashes or dots are spaces. So now I'll give it a space and I can define this. And that's all that there is to it. If it were a boundary line, then it may be a dash with a value, a space, then two dots, and then another dash. Um, you can start building up that pattern uh, linearly. So that should be enough to create a uh, dash line with a 1 16th inch um, distance. Hit OK, click OK again. Now um, I should be able to, to go back to settings, go back to line styles, expand the category, go to my new line style I created, casework overhead, and this time swap the pattern out for the new one that I created, which was I need a small dash line. If I hit OK, now I can choose the line and using the type selector at the top of the screen, pull it down and choose uh, the new style that I created. One more thing, uh, you'll see in settings, uh, you can even change the line weights. Um, you can modify and create your own. Uh, you don't want to mess with this though, because um, that is really easy to screw up.